Well, after a couple days of releasing it, I can see that MGK's fans, even in his own comments, are disappointed in this thrown together binge. He calls it an EP, but it's really an album. The EP is a cop out in case it doesn't do well. There are no first week projections. Usually, after a couple days, there's first week projections. It's not, it's looking like nobody cares. And uh, his own fans are disappointed in this this work right here you know rap devil was good it was a good response uh mgk can rap uh the beat selection was good on this but the delivery wasn't so good and the fans have spoken even in his own comments and i'm just looking for i'm not looking for eminem stands i'm looking for straight mgk fans that said they were disappointed uh this is george tower jc news hit that bell hit the subscribe button and if you want to run ads on the channel, join time media at gmail.com. Leave comments below, even the hater comments. I read them all. So um, it looks like MGK did the cardinal sin. Okay, I I understand him and his label. They were trying to capitalize off this Eminem beef. That might have been manufactured. We don't know. But uh, they were looking to capitalize off it. They threw something together off the hype. And, you know, I'm sure it sold a certain amount but it wasn't that good. If you're going to throw something together, it should at least be good. I mean, uh, a true artist is always creating. So he should have had enough tracks laying around to put it together. Now, I noticed that, you know, Eminem's first initial diss on Killshot was produced by the same producer that produced Rap Devil, which was a little suspicious. I wonder how Eminem feels about that, or if he knew about it, and it was all calculated. I don't know, but all of his fans are saying, you sold out, you know, this is, I didn't feel the authenticity in this, no passion, uh, this isn't the M.G. Kelly I became a fan of. A lot of people are just saying, it's not my, this isn't it, you know, they're, they're used to a good piece of work that M.G.K. puts his heart and soul into for the past three albums, Okay. And the past couple mixtapes, he's developed a decent fan base, but a lot of his fans are truly disappointed, and I think he was distracted with the Eminem beef and everything else and just wanted to capitalize on the situation. I mean, you could have put merch out, you could have put a lot of things out, but you put an album out that wasn't so good, and that can actually hurt your career, especially someone at MGK's level that hasn't truly gotten over the hill yet. You know, he like he's had success, but he's not here the culture's not checking for him yet you know he's not he hasn't gotten his just due you know so i don't know i wonder how you guys feel uh i i'm i'm gonna wait probably to see what happens at the m at the bet awards i'm sure i'm you know there would be some back and forth there maybe eminem will do a freestyle maybe that's where he'll at. i don't know well we'll have to see what happens but i think this is just you know, four days later after binge and the Breakfast Club interview, it's 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 pretty much it's pretty much over, man. It is what it is. This was uh, the most press MGK will get in his career, and uh, he put up a good fight. Put up a good fight. It's Jordan Tower with eighteen news. Hit that bell, hit the subscribe button, and I'll check you guys in the next video.